You might wonder why it matters whether cars have over- or understeer. Although both are not ideal for race drivers, understeer makes the car numb and unresponsive. This can create all sorts of problems. For example, when cars go side-by-side -side into a corner and the inside car goes straight out due to understeer, this might result in collapsing cars. Oversteer, on the other hand, can make the car more responsive, but only if it happens in limited amounts. When a car oversteers too much, the back part of the car will simply break out, causing the car to spin. Many drivers have their own preference in driving their cars. One reason Sergio Perez is doing so well this season is because his car is understeering more than last year's car. Perez already said in the past that he prefers an understeering car as it suits his driving style better. Verstappen, however, prefers an oversteering car, which he can play around with during the races and qualifying. Verstappen prefers a car that has great amounts of front-end grip, which he can use to steer in the corners.